Is the universe a true time mystery that has just been disenchanted? Join us for a groundbreaking study that claims our cosmic existence as not 13.8, but an incredible 27 billion years on the ticking clock. This revelation, accompanied by compelling evidence, forces us to rethink everything we have known about the universe. What does this exciting discovery mean for our understanding of space and time? And will the cornerstones of the Big Bang Theory hold up under this scientific pressure? In this fascinating foray into the far reaches of astrophysics, we will not only reveal why the universe may actually be much older, but also reveal that some courageous thinkers guessed as much a century ago. The True Age of the Universe No one in the world of astrophysics and cosmology knew the name Rajendra Gupta until now. That is about to change, and the man who teaches as a professor of theoretical physics and cosmology at the University of Ottawa may soon go down in history. Gupta is the only one currently providing two coherent explanations of how there can be dozens of galaxies deemed impossible at the edge of the known universe. His explanatory approach is simple and is based on two theories that were already known 100 years ago, but nobody took them seriously at that time. If Gupta's proposal is correct, we will have to get used to a completely new value for the age of the universe. 27 billion years with an uncertainty of about 40 billion years. Gupta has good reasons to claim this, and he provides evidence. What would be the significance of this discovery for all those scientists who until now believed in the Big Bang and the age of the universe estimated at 13.8 billion years? Well, if Gupta's study is correct, and our universe is at least 27 billion years old, this would have enormous implications for our perspective and view of the cosmos. It would mean that dozens of previous theories and models would be brought down. Some would be wrong, others could be revised and updated. This need not just mean more work for scientists. These innovations can be a chance to now solve all the fundamental questions and mysteries about the origin and fate of the universe that have remained unanswered until now. For example, one of the unsolved questions in cosmology has been what was before the Big Bang? If the Big Bang was the beginning of time and space, it makes no sense to ask what was before it. But if the Big Bang was not the beginning, but only a transition from one universe to others, or only a beginning of many, then we need to know more about it. Possibly, there was another universe before ours, or our universe originated in a much larger structure that is far older and resembles a multiverse with many parallel universes. Galaxies older than the universe? What would you say if there are stars and galaxies in the cosmos which are older than the cosmos itself? This sounds illogical, and it is, but these observations are real. At first, it was only one star, Methuselah, that showed an age beyond 13.8 billion years. Researchers were still calculating and pondering a measurement error when the next shocks came. In July 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope observed dozens of galaxies so old they couldn't actually exist. The galaxies existed 200 or 300 million years after the supposed Big Bang and have such a high degree of order and luminosity that they must have been formed at times when the universe was just freshly born. Normally, galaxies need billions of years to develop. If scientists calculate the development time of these galaxies back, they appear older than the universe itself. Possibilities that these galaxies were something like turbo developers are also discussed, but these explanations are not really to be taken seriously. James Webb's discoveries speak much more for the fact that the universe is much older or that the Big Bang never existed. Rajendra Gupta presents his solution. Since the summer of 2022, there has been excitement among scientists. Hardly anyone likes the new worldview, and researchers had been too hung up on previous theories and believed them. Now, all of this could be incorrect, and researchers prepare for sleepless nights. Unfortunately, at present, not all astronomers and cosmologists share the opinion that the new discoveries are a change. They hold on to old explanations, but innovations are essential. When Rajendra Gupta saw the observations of James Webb, he was not one of those who said, impossible. He had an idea, and soon after, 
a coherent explanation at hand. Gupta recalled a theory from the 1920s created by a Swiss scientist named Fritz Zwicky. Zwicky researched the redshift of galaxies and came to quite different conclusions than his contemporaries Edwin Hubble or George Lemaitre. As light travels through space, the spectrum of light shifts from white to red the longer it travels. Thus, the oldest galaxies appear reddish in images of the cosmos, and the nearest stars glow white or blue-white. Edwin Hubble recognized in the redshift even more than the pure distance to us. He thought he had evidence that these old galaxies were additionally moving away from us. On this observation, the Hubble constant was developed, which describes how fast the universe expands. However, the expansion has not been proven until today, and there are doubts about the theory. Nevertheless, this expansion is one of the cornerstones of the Big Bang theory. After the Big Bang, the universe was driven apart endlessly, a movement that is said to continue to this day. Fritz Zwicky interpreted the red shift quite differently. The Swiss-American was convinced that light loses energy during its long journey through interactions with other particles and therefore turns red. This mechanism does not foresee an expansion of the universe and is actually not compatible with the standard model of cosmology. But here too, the innovative professor from Ottawa has a solution. According to Gupta's expertise, the theory of tired light is perfectly compatible with the existing standard models. To prove this, he makes use of another theory that originated in 1937. The British physicist Paul Dirac proposed the hypothesis of variable constants. According to this hypothesis, some of the constants we use to describe forces and the mass of particles are not permanently constant. They change slowly over time. Gupta combines these two ideas and proposes a new model that can explain some of the greatest puzzles and mysteries of cosmology. Your model explains the existence of stars and galaxies that appear to be older than the universe itself by extending the time for their formation and evolution. His model can also explain why some galaxies are much smaller than expected by reducing their mass due to the loss of energy from light. Gupta's model also challenges the cosmological constant that scientists use to calculate the age of the universe. The cosmological constant is a term used to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe due to dark energy. Gupta replaces this term with a new one that depends on variable constants and shows that this can significantly affect our estimate of the age of the universe. According to these calculations, an age of 27 billion years seems most likely. However, 40 billion years is also possible. The problem of variable constants. This sounds like a solution, but then why aren't scientists cheering? The explanation is simple, because Dirac's theory of variable constants poses new problems. If the behavior of particles changes so dramatically over time that it leads to computational errors, we have a poor chance of ever understanding the young universe. Scientists are already having trouble in the here and now understanding and describing the behavior of all particles. If particles change their behavior in the course of time, it becomes almost impossible to describe the young universe or to put it into mathematical formulas. Here we come to an interesting point and to one of the most famous scientists of antiquity, Hermes Trismegistos. Hermes Trismegistos described the nature of the universe in the second century BC in a collection of verses known as Hermetica. In it, the universal genius describes the geometry and blueprint of the cosmos with these formulas among others. As above, so below. That which is within is like that which is without. What is in the large is also to be found in the small. In quantum and particle physics, researchers reached a limit beyond which the behavior of particles becomes so unpredictable that they can no longer be measured. When atoms are broken down into smaller and smaller building blocks, electrons, neutrons, protons, then the quanta, quarks, and many more come along. Some of these particles are graspable and determinable, but at the threshold that German physicist Werner Heisenberg called fuzziness, the measurement results become blurred. The particles elude measurement and cannot be described. If Paul Dirac was right, the same thing happens in the world of large phenomena on the temporal line. Above a certain threshold, the behavior of particles changes, 
so that from our point of view, they are currently no longer properly detectable or describable. If this is true, then we have now encountered the fuzziness in the cosmos and the old prophecy of Hermes Trismegistos of in the small as in the large is confirmed in a fascinating way thousands of years later. The end of astrophysics? Do we have to ask ourselves at this point whether this circumstance would mean the end of astrophysics? That is certainly not the case. Surely, humans will penetrate some time deeper into the cosmos of the smallest particles and will develop new methods to overcome the threshold of the fuzziness. Scientists of all eras have had to admit new dimensions and ideas and improve their techniques to learn more and more about this world and the cosmos. The current crisis in astronomy and cosmology is therefore nothing unusual. Although we know fantastic pictures of more than 93 billion light years of universe and have traced and deciphered many phenomena, the universe still provides material for millennia of research. To be able to explain the beginning of the universe is a wish of mankind. The beginning of creation can also give us clues to the meaning and purpose of our own existence. If it turns out to be true that our universe is subject to a constant cycle of emergence, growth, and decay, these ideas can also be transferable to other areas. Ancient peoples such as the Vedas claimed thousands of years ago that we live in a multiverse and ourselves are immortal beings who are born, live, pass away, and are born again. Hit the like button now and subscribe to the channel because the best videos are yet to come.